Welcome to Modern Musings, conversations with the maiden, mother, and crone, looking at ourselves and the world through the lens of the 21st century. Hello and welcome back. I'm your hostess, Kristen, and I'm here with my co-hosts, Amber and Cindy. Hello. Hey. And um, we just want to welcome you today. If this is your first time joining us, we're glad to have you here. And if you're returning, then welcome back. Today, we are talking about ASMR and what the heck is it? <laughs> yeah, what the heck is it? Yeah, what is it? <laughs> like, I'm sure yeah. that some of you have heard people talking about it online or you've seen it on TikTok I or I think we've YouTube. mentioned it a time oh, or two yeah, on the podcast. Oh, yeah, we've mentioned it a couple yeah. of times on favorite YouTube videos uh, episode we did a long time ago. Maybe, I think season one. I can't yeah, remember. It's a long that, time ago. Yeah, really um, long time no, ago. No, I think that was season two. Okay, yeah. but anyways, it was forever and a day ago. So um, the reason why we were just wanting to kind of talk about it today is because we just kind of like brushed over it and like, yeah, this is it, and, and we kind of talked about it. But I think it's more debatable. I think there's a little bit more we could talk about because some people like it and some people love it and some people absolutely hate it. I think it's a you love it or you hate it kind of thing, like asparagus. And... <laughs> So it's like one of those things like well, asparagus, it, it has to be down. made just right or it's <laughs> terrible, right? So ASMR, I believe, has to be done just right or it's terrible. So I was just going to kind of start off with the definition. So if you just Google it, you will see the definition is uh, ASMR stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response which means that a tingling sensation that usually begins on the scalp and moves down the back of the neck and upper spine, a pleasant form of parathesia. It has been compared with auditory tactile synesthesia and may overlap with frisson. So that's okay. kind of like blah, blah, blah. When you started blah, talking blah. about a tingling Did sensation that your moves head? down your I got the heebie-jeebie chills. Yes. So it's that's, one of those kind of things. It's it's one of those kind of things. But usually, well, the, in layman's terms, it's sounds that are designed to give you a, not just a sensory, but an emotional reaction. Physical. Physical emotional reaction. Yes. So and, yeah. if it gives you like... Um, Fingernails on a chalkboard gives you that cringeworthy, you know, that is an ASMR. Oh, well, but this is a pleasant form. But that's the of... pleasant form of it. Yes. Right. So, so it's designed to give you that pleasant, warm, fuzzy feeling. Mm -hmm. but, but when it talks about tingly, that to me is not a pleasant sensation. That is creepy nails on the chalkboard feeling. Mm -hmm. But, well, yeah. I mean, literally, when you said tingling scalp and goes down your your neck, I'm thinking, ugh, gross. So I get it, but I don't get it from, like, weird sounds or whatever people are getting it from. I get that tingly feeling when I listen to a song that brings an emotional response Memory. so that yes. is the to same. me so that song it is the gives same you thing so that you... response okay yes. so yeah. that is asmr mm -hmm. uh, yes, in a way because it it is triggering the part of your brain that right. causes that and they're they're they... i can only get that from songs and movies and sometimes books but mm -hmm. some people books. get it from different things like the ringing of church bells which reminds them of their childhood being called to worship or um, the sounds of seagulls at, at the beach. You know, that rem it gives them that feeling of being at the beach okay. and being, do yeah. you see what, so, so there are probably other it. sounds for you that give you that feeling. You just haven't found them. I found think them with yet, music, it could be like a certain chord or something that's being hit. So like when there's a melody, Right, or, very harmonious right. melody. It might hit you at that. Mm -hmm. Well, or or the song itself has. Well, for me for especially, you. like um, well, it might not even be like the song itself. It's like the build up, mm -hmm. like um, 
the song builds up, and it's not every song. Mm-hmm. Not every song. This does not happen to ev- every song, you know what I mean? But then there, there's like a build up and a build up and a build up, and then it hits that particular moment in the song, and it's like explosions, and you feel just like that tingly sensation i get it in like on the top of my head and it crawls down mm-hmm. the back of i get my head. that when certain people sing really really well like there have been times where mm-hmm. i watch yeah, exactly like, chills. like exactly yeah. like the like, chills uh, like uh, is it america's got talent or one of those shows where people go on the talent show mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah and i've seen like every once in a while i've had that before on those shows i've had that on the mass singer, singer before too yeah. like when yeah. somebody is just like so good yeah where you're just like yeah right now i was just thinking of someone on the mass singer See, then, like that oh, made my scalp tingle. That yeah. was that. That used to be like my favorite part, like about the auditions for The Voice. Mm-hmm. Like a somebody will get on there and just be like so good, like a four chair, maybe not even a four chair turn, but it'd be like if I had four chairs, I would turn for that. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'd be like, oh yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I could see where that would be ASMR. So uh, if you were to go. Um, through the interwebs, the dark, dark web, web of YouTube, and look up ASMR. There is a the large dark variety. Hole of YouTube. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> There's a large uh, variety of different kind of buckets of ASMR. So I thought I would list off some of the ones that I consider in this and, bucket or that bucket right. because you will probably go, let's chunk that bucket out the window, right? Um, so the first one is the most obvious one, and it is the one where they have a microphone. And they have random objects, and I call them the noisemakers because they think they make me think of my dog when she has her toy and she just makes a lot of noise with her toy. That they is will get not pleasant. something and they'll hold it up to the microphone. Drive me crazy. I so hate those. That. I don't I like yeah, those. Hate the, that. The, those no, are the uh, crinkle that's what I and think crunchers. Of when I think of ASMR, yeah, yeah. That, there's a lot of videos out there, and it's like rapid crunching, and they that makes me think of nails on the chalkboard. ADD. They'll do like a hundred sounds in five minutes, and it's like just stick with one. Slow it down. Like you know, <laughs> I don't know. I, I think uh, people on the internet, you know, they're so quick to like fast forward through things so they want to get as much in their video as they can and so they'll try to make noise with all these different right. random objects to you know get right. someone to listen but i will literally watch the video for like two seconds and i'm like i'm done i can't because you it's keep... that's tense for me it is it's very, it is it, is it makes me anxious tense. to hear those kind of sounds yeah because it in is not real life i get anxious when people make those sounds like when you're sitting next to someone at the movie theater and they have like a sack with them like why did you bring a plastic sack to the movie theater stop (laughs) you know like that it there should be nothing but the crunching of your popcorn right and even that can be a little intense like (laughs) don't crunch your eyes either but people chewing also like that sound gets on my nerves yeah so i think that kind of goes in that bucket there's also the quiet shufflers so there's all similar noisemaker people but they do it in this like very gentle and calm and slow way and they take their time like they'll do like that's too much oh yeah you went too fast but yes like a page slowly flipping and very quiet and they're very careful when they pick up the objects and put them back down so that they don't make a lot of noise yeah okay like that and then Like, okay. even my finger is making too much noise. We have the wrong kind of microphones. We have good microphones. Well, we, no, we have the wrong kind of microphone. It picks well, up. yeah. It, it picks I, up it, a lot of It doesn't pick up noise. those sounds. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, you know, those quiet sounds, I do enjoy those. Like, the sound of a gentle pencil on parchment paper makes a really pleasant sound if... The person is not like if they're drawing <laughs> slowly, yeah, yes. like or writing slowly, raping yeah. a paper. Then no, it doesn't sound good. Or they're writing too fast, right? Because then it's anxious writing. Yes, sound that anxious writing. You close your eyes. You can imagine anxious writing. You're hurrying like, up to write like, this oh report God, before I get in trouble. Writing or like, oh, they're furiously writing a note because they're mad, you know, and they're gonna paste it on a fridge. Don't eat my cookies, you know. <laughs> like, <laughs> so those things to me, like I don't feel like those give a pleasant response um 
the other ones that um, there's like um, smooth talkers and they will just talk in a very soft whisper or very quiet. Like, so I can't stand whispering. I know. But there's some people who can talk really quietly like this and it doesn't sound. I have to listen too hard to hear it. Yeah. So that bothers well, me. Well, with the proper microphones, you don't need to. You just pop some earbuds in. Right. And, and I, know, I need to play everything. these videos for my eighth graders. So, you do. Uh, mm-hmm. so, so they can like, get an idea Actually, of how quietly so you should I, be able to talk. I was reading this parenting book, and one of the tips was that if you need to get a point across to your child, yelling and raising your voice does not give the same effect as you better sit down now mm-hmm. and behave oh yeah because that's scary yes because when they s- when they hear you out of control then they just automatically go oh she's out of control she's lost it yeah and she's just in her own feelings so it's not me it's her kids are smart they they can yeah. pick up on that I get but it. when I, you're I get in that. control and you tell your child to sit down and behave and put your hands in your lap and look straight and close your mouth. They're like, oh, my oh God, crap. she's mad, right? And it works wonders on your husband, too. <laughs> so Interesting. Yes, it does. <laughs> Try it. Try it. Because then he's like, oh, she's so mad she's not even yelling. Like, <laughs> But anyways, so the soft talkers – will do things like um, lift you up, say things like positive affirmations. So oh, if, you yeah. can, okay. if you can withstand the whispering or the soft talking. It depends on the, what soft talking. Sometimes they may have like a weird accent. And I, I don't mean to sound like a xenophobe, but weird accent, I mean like they just, it's, you're almost like focusing too much on, on the accent, the accent to, to understand, to what understand they're what they're saying. It, I didn't mean to say weird, but to you, it's foreign. Yes. And so it's hard to relax because you're kind of on edge because you're Trying like, what listen. are they saying? Yeah. Yes. But at the same time, like it's also very calming. So try it out. Those are pretty cool. Um, my favorites though are um, hair and nails and the grooming ones. I love whenever they do like an hour of hair. And they'll have like a person that comes like a volunteer. And they'll sit there with their long hair. And they'll start them off by brushing their hair with different types of hair brushes. And, and they'll just move the hair and fluff it. They'll do a scalp massage. And the microphone picks up the soft mm-hmm. like massage sound. The scratchy sound, you know, and it's not fast scratchy like like that. It's like slow. So those are really calming. You have your like earbuds in, you just close your eyes. It's like, oh, I'm getting like my hair pampered. Those are relaxing to me. But I could imagine if you were the type of person that didn't want someone to like touch you, that would be kind of unnerving. So I'm trying to think if there's other ones. Um, I know the one that I mentioned before was um, – this woman who like dresses up and she has like a whole scene and she kind of like reenacts something like one of them was an apothecary and so someone comes in with like a little scroll and so she opens a scroll and she's like oh I see you need these supplies for the wizard let me get these together for you and then you know there's like a whole story that goes on that one is actually kind of fun because it's really calming it's kind of like watching a little movie that you don't mind falling asleep to because it's not a whole lot going on. But um, uh, have you guys had any experiences watching ASMRs or? Well, I haven't. I I mean, I've seen some of your videos that you've shared with us, but um, I I have not sat and watched any of those. But I did get the opportunity about uh, June of last year at the Oak Cliff Film Festival. Um, we got to see a screening of 32 sounds, which is a movie, um, that was, uh, directed, uh, by Sam Green and it features the power of sound to bend time 
I'm, I'm doing this from their website, cross borders and profoundly shape our perception of the world around us. So they chose these 32 sounds and um, they talked about how sound has the ability to, to motivate us in these ways. And it was a very unique experience. So it was um, shown at the Texas theater in Oak Cliff and all the audience members got a set of head, a special headsets to watch this because it's uh, it was done in a spatial stereo so that um, every, all the sound was very, I don't know. I don't know how to, how to talk about, I don't know how to explain it. My husband could explain this very well, but, um, but it was like, if, if somebody lit a match behind you, the sound comes from behind you. So it's, it's, it's sort of like surround sound, but it's more in depth than that. Because it's recorded that way. It's recorded that way. Okay, not just explaining, not just, time. um, so, when they recorded this, they set up microphones all over for spatial to, you know, spatially to pick up these sounds. Um, normally you would just have like, like we do a microphone in front of our mouths, but this was done, you know, where there was a microphone here and a microphone there and a microphone there. And it picks up the sounds from all the different angles. And then when that is mixed in the mixing, um, editing, then those sounds are mixed so that you can hear it. And, and as the movie pans or whatever, you hear it from one perspective or a different perspective. There's actually, um, Apple music right now is going into this binaural experience things where everything has to be binaural. Oh, the spatial audio. It's all mm -hmm. spatial audio. And, mm -hmm. um, they're going to start requiring that all music submitted, um, to Apple Music for wide distribution. So we're talking all the major record labels. It has to be mixed in that spatial audio. and But you have to have special headphones to listen to it. Mm -hmm. It's not even just um, regular headphones. You it, The headphones have to be equipped to take all these different signals. Right now, your regular headphones are stereo phones. Uh -huh. Left and right. Mm -hmm. And by mixing different, um, mixing those, that audio in a different way, like leaning more to the left or leaning more to the right, or both of them equal, then that your brain interprets that as being in the center mm -hmm. or to the left or to the right. But this is actually different, different signals coming into these headphones to, to make it that way. And it's really, really fascinating Oh man, you just gave me like a a brain like um I don't know, like not a brain fart. No, the opposite, <laughs> yes. like an implosion. A brain wave, <laughs> a brain yeah. wave, baby, I don't know. Yeah. A brain gasm. So, I was thinking of so there's like virtual reality, right? You yes. put on the little goggles yes. and you can walk That's around what that in would your mind. Be, yeah, virtual right. reality well, I was music. Thinking, it's virtual it, audio. Yeah. Right. It would be really cool if say you went into like a room like this, like take an escape room, for instance. There's all these things that you do in the escape room right? Like, that you touch. and yeah. Imagine if you had headphones on and as you walked around the room, you could hear different sounds. Like if you were in an escape room that was a uh, ballroom, right? And there's oh. all these different people standing around having conversations. And you go stand over here and there's a butler having a, a you know, conversation with someone and you pick up a piece of the clue and then you oh. go and dance and there's music playing over here and then there's you know yeah music yeah. or Inter totally interactive yeah. someone toasting interactive and you can hear audio the glass. Yeah. yeah like i just thought like wow wouldn't that be totally crazy? for like, the metaverse yeah mm -hmm. i i'm seeing like because we're going so like beyond three-dimensional right everything is like 5d yeah. yeah or whatever um because of virtual realities and things like that and these different programs and stuff like wouldn't that be cool if you had a real audio experience that was more like physical too yeah. because then you would incorporate the physical body into the audio well yeah and it, and those audio would uh, by having that uh binaural or immersive mm -hmm. audio experience mm -hmm. when you hear 
that weird noise behind you, it gives you the chills. Like, oh my gosh, what was that? That just creepy, made that yeah. Creepy sound behind yeah. me, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Because yeah. even in the movies, you can get that feeling from just the speakers at the. Well, yeah, because yeah. they have rear channels, and sometimes mm-hmm. the sound will come from there. Yeah, and you know, like the actors facing this way, and you see them facing that way, and then you hear the sound, and you're like, "What was that?" Yeah. So there's um, one of the microphone types that they use in ASMR. It's really interesting. It's like a kind of like a head and there's the, two ears they talk about yeah. this in the in this movie uh-huh. they used it there's in this microphones movie. and then there's actual ear lobes and so when they do like a head massage on these little mannequins they will like rub the ears and it sounds like what it would sound like if your ear was yes. being rubbed because it makes yes. like that kind of sound you know yeah. um hmm. that would be interesting um there's a movie gosh i can't remember what it was called where it was first person perspective um mm. and it was an action movie oh god oh, i can't remember it's like 10 years ago it was came it out called like the silent house or something Mm-mm. like that no. no uh it was a guy's name i think but he's hardcore like hardcore henry hardcore henry yeah. yes okay so you remember that movie like imagine if that movie was recorded like that and In you the, had those yeah, headphones on of audio yeah. yeah because you're like then you would be you are the guy act. yes yeah. yes crazy yeah. It's, crazy. it's kind of like playing a video game like uh well, yeah. you, mm-hmm. you yeah. are the person yeah. well and I, and i wonder if that is the next step in video games is moving to that to that audio as well so not only do you have like a vr headset yeah but you have the, the ears as well and it, it has those sounds what was i talking about last week where all you got all going to be laying in your bed and <laughs> i never leave your bed everything yeah. will be spatial life <laughs> yes spatial. ai spatial life <laughs> instead of my space it'll be my spatial life <laughs> 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 virtual the, reality there we go uh, uh, anyways <laughs> so what about you amber I mean, other than the music thing that I described as far as like the feeling, I didn't even know that was ASMR, but I don't seek out. I yeah. I don't understand. Like, I understand it. I get it. You know what I mean? Like, I get why people would want to listen to that and get the feelings and stuff like that. But for me, it's just like not really something that... I feel the need to seek out like listening to an hour of hair brushing or mm-hmm. yeah I mean like a, occasionally like I'll be flipping on s- swiping on TikTok and there'll be a like little you know 30 second or whatever ASMR videos which kind of maybe defeats the purpose I don't know if it does or not but just like a quick like a I'm going to restock my snack shelf. And then there will be like all the crunching. and Oh, yes. that's clunk, 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 clunk. I and don't then feel the like clunk. that's ASMR. See, the, yeah. and they bill that as ASMR. Yeah. Like they hashtag yeah. ASMR when they do that. Yeah. Yeah, and it's just like click, 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 click. And I'm just like, why would anybody yeah. want to listen to this? Like um, I get it. It's fascinating seeing them it's it's more of like for the organization episode, you know yeah, what I mean? Is. Like a, it is, yeah. It, it's fascinating seeing them organize their pantry the way that I like to organize but my pantry. Just, yeah, it doesn't you know, make it, me feel It's very OCD, it. you know, yeah. it's very that, but it doesn't give me any like, oh, I remember the time when I organized my first pantry and then it just gave me chills because it was all in alphabetical order. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, that's I, like me organizing know, yeah. my I bookshelves. I can see where orders. the hair brushing would, though, because for a lot of people, that is a self or that is a soothing thing is have their mm-hmm. hair brushed, um, particularly people who have uh, and particularly people on the spectrum um, being brushed is a a soothing thing. You know, uh, having their hair brushed is is one of the things that they'll use to soothe. So I can see that I I like. Like the the rain ones, the rain or a candle or oh something. yeah, the OG relaxation sound. Yeah, yeah, but they're not. But I, I don't really seek them out either. Mm-hmm. They're just, 
you know, it's like, oh, rain. The sound of rain would be kind of nice right now. You know, if mm-hmm. it's like if it's all cloudy, but or it's not like raining Christmas time and they have like the crackling fire on Netflix. I do. I yeah. use the crackling fire at Christmas sometimes. See, I don't cause... even seek that stuff out. I've never been there like, you know, people like my mom used to have like a night time. Well, it was a regular, I guess, like alarm clock or whatever, mm-hmm. but it had like the sounds of the ocean or sound oh, of yeah. birds yeah, no, no. That, that does people not put me fall to sleep. asleep to no. or whatever and that i just never sought anything like that out or like the the sounds of the mm, what's that the bowls the singing bowls or whatever oh, yeah. oh, like I uh those, i mean i like the sounds or whatever but i've just never sought it out like i want to listen to it rain and because if I did that, then it'd be like I need to go to the bathroom or something <laughs> like that. I the the rain. The only time when I like the rain is when I have it's like a cloudy day, so it's really dark, and and it's supposed to rain, but it's not raining at my house. Yeah, and but I want that rainy day feeling, and I want to sit on the couch with a book, and I like that rain sound. And just turn that on and read a book. And then it's like it's raining outside. Um, I also sometimes like the the beach, the waves on the beach. But they have to not be violent waves on the beach. It has to just the slow beach. Because then it feels like I'm just relaxing on the beach. But it does not give me that ASMR tingle thing mm-hmm. you, that you're talking about. I, I don't get that out of it at all. It's just a soothing sound. Now, as far as like the rainforest sounds or the rain when I'm going to sleep, no, never. I it those things keep me awake. It took me forever to learn how to sleep with a fan on. So, um, so that's the only thing that I like when yeah, I sleep I do, is the sound of the fan. I do like the the fan now, but only mm-hmm. because I had to sleep with it because I was so hot, and I got used to it. So now it's too quiet. There's too many other noises that I hear if the fan's not on. I used to listen to music, like put my headphones in. I can't even do that. When I went to sleep and that would put me to sleep. But then I started like an actual job where I had to hear an alarm clock. So Mm -hmm. I couldn't put loud music in my ears anymore because there was no way that I'd just wake up normally to go to and so I got out of the habit from listening yeah. to music while falling asleep because I'm still afraid that I'm going to miss that alarm clock and not wake up in the morning. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I I like like the the rain ones are okay, but I know you like the hair brushing ones. Yeah, I do uh, like Which the- is really funny because when you were a kid you hated getting your hair brushed. You would not mm-hmm. you did not want anybody to brush your hair. Well, so I don't want I don't want my hair brushed for like functional reasons, but I loved <laughs> at daycare when I was a little bit older and the little kids would play with my hair, like the four year olds. Oh yeah. Because they would just like, you know, kind of do like this and then they would just kinda of gently pull on your hair. I love that. Uh, um you know, and like when Raina was little like she our, used to like brush our little my friend hair. who used to love to brush her oh, hair. Oh yes, see, and I loved that because he would just brush and brush and, and have, then braid yeah. it and unbraid it and braid it and then unbraid it and then put it back in a braid. And he yeah. talked really c- calm and quiet mm-hmm. and soft, and it was so relaxing. You just lay down, enjoy the moment, let your hair be brushed. I like, and I love that. Little child, yeah, mm-hmm. play with your hair. Yeah. So I, I that's why I do like the hair brushing. And when I go get my hair done, like. Uh, haircut my favorite part is getting my hair washed so I like that but um, like as far as like the nature sounds I can't do the birds Mm-mm. like when there's the ocean ones there's always a seagull and it's like shut up seagull right. you're, you're messing up my yeah. space yeah uh-huh yeah and the and, rain I don't want to hear thunder which is funny because in real life I love the sound of birds yeah like I love to hear the birds chirp, but when I'm trying to like sleep, I don't want to hear seagulls. Like seagulls are supposed to be asleep when you're sleeping. Yeah. I don't know. So maybe that's where it's a little confusing. Like it should be nighttime ocean recordings. Oh, there you go. There you not go. Not daytime ocean recordings. Yeah. But um no, I'm it's very interesting. I didn't think about like uh you know, just like listening to music and those type of things being like ASMR. Um, yeah, as far as like seeking it out too, I don't necessarily go like, oh, I'm going to go listen to my ASMR. I can't wait to get off work so I can go listen to ASMR. It's just every once in a while I'm like, oh, there's a new 
random video that pops up in my feed and I'll watch it. But I'm more of an ADD kind of watcher. I will watch it for like five minutes. And then if, if it doesn't have my interest, then I skip it. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things, I think we had talked about this before. Um, but YouTube has a lot of videos. Some of them are called chill and some of them are called ASMR. You just kind of have to like dig around for them. But they'll have like um, a vibe and like there'll be like one that's coffee shop and there's like low murmurs and every once in a while you hear like a spoon stirring uh -huh, and, uh -huh. and there'll be like chill music playing and like maybe a door swing open and close with like a little bell. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's one that that I see around uh, the fall time, which is like witchy and it's like, uh, you know, like a witch's corner and there's like a cat. You every once in a while you hear the cat purring and there might be like a candle burning or a window open with the breeze, mm -hmm. you know, and like a pot boiling and stuff. So like I like those. They just kind of have like a vibe of sounds. Okay. Um, so because like when you're trying to write a blog or something, you know, work on a project where you're needing to like focus on words, it's really hard to listen to music. Yes, it is. That has yes. words. And so oftentimes I'll go for the hairbrushing video or the chill vibes like a coffee shop vibe because surprisingly enough that white noise and you know the um uh, the vibes of the room kind of stuff is a little bit more focusing than listening to yeah. music but it's also better than silence because yes. then i start hearing the faucet drip and the refrigerator the refrigerator running cutting and on and off and the air conditioner cutting on and off and like my dog jumping down from the dog bed and like all yeah. of those little noises the car driving by and my add hyper hearing picks up all those sounds like i can't hear a person talk to save my life but i can hear all the sounds and so those kind of videos are nice because i feel like they kind of just drown out the house sounds mm -hmm. and i can focus a little better so i don't know maybe i don't know if that's really asmr but it gives me a relaxed feeling yeah so i do enjoy those i know amber you had mentioned one time you played those for your kids at school yeah yeah i do occasionally but um, I don't play a lot of that stuff, main, mainly because, um, I mean, I do like when it's calm in the room mm -hmm. and the kids want to be calm. But if like there are 30 kids talking and then there's like sounds coming from my computer, it's just really sensory overload for me. Right. Like, yeah. I can't listen maker. to music and yeah. do things at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's, I mean, I, I can, like, if I'm in the zone cleaning or whatever, but if I'm, like, doing something that requires my brain, then there's, like, too many words going on. There's words in my head, words mm -hmm. from the music, or and if someone's trying to talk to me, there's more words, and then my brain just kind of implodes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, everybody go away. I need to sit in silence now. Yeah. Like that's that's my ASMR right there is just silence. Like getting a <laughs> <Right>? silent <laughs> a silent moment to myself. I you know what? There are very few I, I understand that a lot because after having my mother living here, my mother with dementia and her dog who barks barked all the time. And then my niece, Ashley, you know, she's a uh, college student and um, she would come and go and she'd come in and make her lunch and she'd go back out or whatever and come in and out the front door. My husband during COVID was here. He was working from home. So I would hear him passing through the rooms and stopping in the kitchen to rinse out a dish. And then he'd, I would hear, um, sounds from his studio you know because he's recording commercials or whatever you know or, or editing commercials and and then um you know just all these noises all the time and I never at, there got to be this point where I just craved silence so much and I did not realize how much I loved that lack of sounds and when finally my mother was in a, you know, a facility where they could take care of her and the dog moved on to Kristen's house and my niece was in school away and my husband went back to working outside of the house and I was here at home alone 
and there was no TV on, no music, no doors opening and closing, just me and the sound of the ceiling fan. And then the ghost came and you got scared. No, oh, no. <laughs> no, no, my ghost does not bug me. No. <laughs> that's another, that's another podcast altogether. Now. Um, but yeah, it's just so quiet and so peaceful. And I'm just like, that is my ASMR. Yeah, it really like is. A... When I notice how quiet and peaceful it is, I am in Zen. Like there are other teachers that want things going on in their classroom all the time. They want the kids to come visit them on their break. They want constant movement, constant noise. And me, like uh, on my break, like I will go and hide in the corner of my classroom <laughs> and lock my door. I don't want anybody in my room. I want to sit in silence or if I want to listen to music, you know what I mean? Like, uh, and I'm so used to living by myself the last couple of years that that is one thing that like in the back of my mind, like I'm moving in with somebody. You're do, not going to have that silence Do anymore, I get yeah. silence anymore? Mm-hmm. Well, you will with, when he's at work. Yeah, yeah, only when he's at work. And that and that was that was me. I was so used to being at home alone. We didn't even have a dog for years. And so, you know, it was just me at home. It was silent. And I got used to that. And so now it's like yeah, I then, love it. Then, then all of a sudden there was so much noise all the time. And I was just like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I'll uh, drive. Like, I, I love to listen to music in the car. Like, I love to. It's my favorite thing. But there are some days, like, especially when I leave work, that it was so noisy and crazy at work that I will drive home in silence. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, like, I know uh, that, too. Working in a call center and there's, like, 40 people on phone calls all crammed in like this one space and then there's 40 other people talking you know yeah <laughs> yeah not necessarily on phone calls but there's other people talking too and it's just like wow it's a lot of noise and then you get in your car and it's just like oh, i think i'm just gonna listen so to the nice. air conditioner and the car hum yeah. yeah and maybe that's asmr too just like listen driving it, and listening to the so. road i don't know like just like the road. And I bet you there's silence. some driving ASMRs. So that's oh like now to, that would put to me to sleep. circle <laughs> this back through. Yeah. So the challenge is to go find something that you enjoy and find an ASMR for it. Oh. So okay. there is scrapbooking ASMR. I can already uh, tell you. No, I don't want to watch that. I know, but it's actually there were some cute ones that I watched. I but was the, like, wow. But you know, the driving ASMR mm-hmm. might because you know that, that's one of my things is that. When I have to drive long distances by myself, um, being in the car alone, mm-hmm. if I don't have someone to talk to, it makes me sleepy. Mm-hmm. It does. It makes me really relaxed. Mm-hmm. And so I get really sleepy and I will fall asleep at the wheel. Yeah, I so, wouldn't be surprised if there's road trip type of videos where it's not like heavy traffic, but, you know, just like mm-hmm. on the highway and right. you just hear like that calm, quiet blinker when they Yes, change. and the sound of the wheels mm-hmm. on the on the I'm asphalt kind of thing or maybe the windshield now. wipers. Yeah. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah. But, yeah, I can I, I may have to go look for one of those because that might give me that sensation. Mm-hmm. I don't know because it is really relaxing to me and – yeah. Yeah, if I'm on a long road trip like I have to listen to music like if uh, I can't if even I'm just like if it's like 3 hours in the car and I'm you know listening to music or whatever if there's like not anything blasting in my ears then I just start like rabbit holing and thinking about a bunch of weird things like yeah going into an ai matrix universe or something you know like i just start like uh looking at things and thinking of weird things so see, yeah i mean even with music on in the car if i have to drive more than an hour it by myself it will make me fall asleep so i have to have either somebody on the phone mm-hmm. you know talking on my hands free or somebody in the car with me talking to me actively keeping me awake because it it does it just relaxes i and i blame my parents for it because they they said i had colic when i was a kid you know and the only thing that would make me rest was to take me in the car and take me for drives and then you know i guess the bouncing would make me mm-hmm. belch and that's probably why pass you, the gas and so and you're so calm on a cruise ship 
Yes. When you go cruising, it's, it's, it's relaxing. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Cruising on the cruise ship is one of my, that's probably one of my other ones sitting out on the balcony of the cruise ship, just mm-hmm. letting, mm-hmm. hearing the cruise go by. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Cool. Well, so that's my challenge to all of you guys. I, I hope we beat the ASMR to death and, and <laughs> um, picked at it and um, hope we weren't too mean, but hopefully we were mean enough. Well, maybe uh, and maybe they have some ASMR that um, yeah recommend some that uh, maybe it makes them want to listen to ASMR more. Because I'm now. trying to think of what what kinds of things might I might want to listen to. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, because be I do like to write, and that would be good as well to have something very soothing that, like you talked about, uh, that I can listen to. There's to a write. gentleman working guy, and he like dresses up. He's so adorable. He like puts on a suit tie and he's got his little laptop and and he sits there and types and it's like study with me or gentleman worker. Uh I don't remember, but he's so adorable and he just sits there and types. And I was like, huh, because, you know, when you're at work and other people are working, you're kind of like, oh, snap, everybody's working really hard. Let me work really hard, too. (laughs) So, yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, But he, he designs that so that you are studying but you're not alone Mm -hmm. some people can't focus when they're alone right they try to study because they keep stopping to go and get up and do stuff i I think that's like a add kind of thing i'm thinking the sound of someone else doing house chores (laughs) sweeping mopping i turn on those house cleaning videos and i love to clean the clean with me videos i don't want to clean i don't want to watch them I don't want to. Well, I don't really watch them either. I just put them in I my just back want the pocket. Pretty, I want to listen to the sound of somebody else cleaning they my house. They have pretty good music <laughs> on, and then you know uh, they'll like clean stuff. I don't really okay. like it when they go in too fast forward, but you know. Yeah, I I think I found it. Like, um, I was just looking at a, a list of ASMR triggers and. Uh, like uh, watching somebody attentively execute a mundane task, such as preparing there it food. Is. Oh. I love watching cooking. They're oh, not not necessarily you know talking about it, but watching you liked them watching cook. Your mom cooked, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just, well, I so what is what does that list to... give yeah, uh, before so, we get off of here? Okay. Um, a lot of these, Kristen already talked about the softly spoken voice, uh-huh. repetitive sounds such as cleaning or turning the pages of a book or something mm-hmm. like that. Um, watching somebody do a mundane task such as preparing food, not okay. talking about it, just preparing, just preparing it. it. Yep. And that's what I like the most. I hate it when they that's talk That's what I was thinking videos. about, like with the mopping the floor mm-hmm. or yeah, like sweeping. Uh, yeah. Hair brushing, grooming, mm-hmm. makeup application, um, external audio triggers, um, tapping, nail tapping surfaces. I like uh, the tapping Hand ones, movements. They're quiet tapping. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, hand movements. The hand movements they do like this. Listening oh. to t- certain types of music, so that is ASMR. Okay, like okay. Great, types yeah. of music. Okay, um, exhaling into a microphone, crinkly <sighs> items like we're talking about the paper, uh, mouth sounds like clicking. Clicking <laughs> <laughs> well, the smack, but the clucking. <laughs> it's called yeah. clucking. And tisking, yeah. Yeah, tisking and uh, button sounds like computer keyboards. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. okay. And then video game controller sounds and then rain. So, rain. yeah, we so covered I, I, most of this list one. already. Oh, well, there we go. All cool. right, yeah. cool. Well, awesome. Neat. So, I think you found yours. So, there's your challenge, ladies, to go find an ASMR because I truly think there's one for everybody out there. You just have to look for it and you may find one and just go, okay, yeah, that's cool. And then you're done with it and then you may go back and watch it again. Oh, that would be a good, yeah. There's another ASMR right there. I love listening to my cats purr. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Okay. Uh, I came into this. Completely no, dogs licking and against. panting are not, not licking <laughs> and panting. No. <laughs> that's dog the opposite. Like, that's that anxious yeah. thing. Yes. Yeah. So. Wow. Yeah, I came into this thinking that I was going to bash ASMR. I didn't like ASMR. But then you thought of But things. then I started, yeah, Kristen, <laughs> just thinking like, okay, well, yeah, 
I do like some things yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Every video, I take it with open ears and open eyes, and then I also dismiss it immediately if I don't like it. Because, like I said, it's just like music. There's a song for everybody or a style or genre. So I, I'll listen to it, and if I don't like it, uh-huh. I'll skip it and find something else. And then I favorite the ones that I do like, and then um, I start to kind of go, okay, I know – like, I can put ASMR no talking in my search, and it will rule out all of the ones where people talk. Because mm. they know, the people creating it know, like, people want certain things. And so, they'll put no talking in there, because some people do not like talking in their ASMR. So but Yeah, uh-huh. that would be me. I wouldn't yeah. want any talking. Absolutely, just- yeah. And, and for me, like, I, I usually put no talking because I don't like the whispering, because it gives me the heebie-jeebies. So. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Well, yeah, I challenge okay. you guys to go find it. Don't knock it till you try it, and try it at least three times before you decide you don't like try, it. Try try different different mm-hmm. genres. Try or different, different things, and I guess it would be genres of yeah. yeah. I guess so genres. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So let us know what you think in the comments, or if you have a favorite ASMR that you love, or one that we've missed. Um, what are we talking about next week? Next yeah, Cindy. Week. What are Cindy? What are we talking about? I was fixing to say next week um we're talking about quilting and sewing gifts so um we're kind of getting into that um prep for the you know the the fall and people start thinking about sewing things for christmas gifts if they haven't already and so that's what we're talking about is some of those gifts that maybe we're not talking about the gifts specifically that we're making or but maybe ones that we've done before so Mm -hmm. um but sewing gifts um quilts t-shirt quilts things like that and um i think it'll be interesting yeah yeah i'm for looking sure. forward to it i'm looking forward to what amber's gonna talk about i know because amber doesn't sew. <laughs> um yeah no. i don't sew I know. so <laughs> yeah. so yeah come back next week i and, don't know how we got on course, that topic so if um if you are <laughs> not like amber, i don't know how we got to this topic i know yeah, i don't know like, did, how I, get did I pick anything. this topic i don't even know how we like come around to like the discussion at the end i'm like how did we stay on this train i don't yeah, even know like how did we do like, asmr for however many minutes right, like, right. We'll, we'll go so. back to the we'll end up talking about sewing for like an hour and a half and i'm just gonna be like how did i talk about sewing for an hour and a half <laughs> yeah <laughs> you will no well <laughs> So uh, if you are only listening to the podcast, just a reminder that you are missing out on half of the story or more. Um, We do have our blogs and um, we definitely encourage you to check those out. We each have our three different uh, perspectives on the topic. Mm -hmm. And um, so you may find quite uh, a bit more material uh, on our blogs as well. So uh, be sure to check us out on modernmusings.net. And uh, we also want to give special thanks to Cake Mix Studios and Creative Audio Tech for our music and recording equipment. And we'd also like to thank you, our loyal listeners. Most definitely. Yes. So until next time, we'll catch you later. Bye. Bye.